morning you guys i was gonna wear my kate spade beanie but i think i'm actually not gonna wear it um because it's still raining and uh, maybe i will wear it just outside oh this sucks so i it's been raining all night i'm gonna leave for work now and i'm gonna see if you guys can see this like okay so it's not i'll show you when i get outside the entire parking lot of my apartment complex is flooded and according to the news reports that I was looking at this morning most of the streets around my area are flooded so I have to figure out a way to get to work that is safe and that doesn't stall out my car so okay so that looks really deep over there a car just went through it and it was like up to their side of their door Ugh, I'm like really not excited about this and then it looks like this is all flooded as well. Like, it's not as bad right here where I'm parked, thankfully. But look at this. It goes all the way down, you guys. Ah. Oh my gosh, even the speed bump is underwater. Okay. That's crazy. How... Like, how deep is that if the speed bump is underwater? I don't know if I want my car to go through this because I'm just concerned that it'll stall out because my car is so low to the ground. I mean... I mean, that's the speed bump and that's like under the water you guys like it's under oh, this is a nightmare so I had to like strategically figure out the best route on Waze and I'm actually gonna take the route that takes the longest because it looks like there's the least amount of like hazard symbols um, I'm hoping the hazard symbols on Waze are people saying hey there's flooding here <sighs> okay, so I'm just really not excited about this. I have extreme anxiety when it comes to like different things in my life. I'm sure you guys know this. And one of those anxieties is driving in the rain and driving in flooding. Um, I, I don't like deep water. I mean, I don't like going to the ocean. I don't like anything that has to do with super deep water. And I'm like really afraid right now. This is like really concerning. Okay, all right, let's figure this out together. I'm just gonna go, oh my God, this is like the worst. Oh God. I'm gonna go over here because, wow, this is deep. The speed bump, that is completely submerged. I'm gonna go back over car here and I just don't want the car to see me like filming okay so I have like a quick brief <laughs> instance of no water and then back we go so now oh god this is the worst you guys I'm like so paranoid right now it's like to level to the, the side thing this is so bad I can just like hear look at it my whole neighborhood is underwater. This, oh God. This is treacherous. Like, I know that word is like stupid in this context, but it is like, this is so bad. All right, we're almost out of the water. Oh my God. I hate all of this. I hate everything. Look at that back there. This oh my God. Oh my god, it never ends! Did that car stall out right there? I think that BMW stalled out over there. It never ends. You guys, I'm sorry for cursing, but like, what is happening? I'm pretty sure that BMW stalled out right there. I don't even want to like, stop my car. Because if I stop, I feel like I'll stall out. Oh my god, this is nuts. Jesus! Oh, there. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like that noise. So far, I haven't encountered any more major flooding here on the main road. Um, the, uh, every side street that I look down is flooded. So it looks like all of the lower lying streets and neighborhoods are completely flooded out. I don't like driving in this. It freaks me out really bad. And I think like my bigger concern is it's supposed to rain all day again today and all day tomorrow and all day the next day. And it's like, all right, great, I'm going to work. So what happens if it rains like super bad all day and then I have to drive home in that and it's worse than it was this morning and then tomorrow I wake up and have to go to work and it's really, really bad and I can't leave. Like, I'm not going to drive in this if it's like dangerous. Like, and right now this is kind of what I consider dangerous because there's already cars that are getting stalled out in my neighborhood, near the mall, near Publix Plaza. Like, it's just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that. I don't wanna ruin my car. I need it, I don't have money for a new one. So, I don't know, I'm just kind of freaking out, but. Ugh. In other news, um, I literally shut off my camera and then uh, realized that there was a sinkhole next to me in the other lane. There was like a car, uh, like a hazard car and like cones and rope and I look over and it's just, it's been raining so much that that, that happened, that opened up. That's fun. I feel really safe right now. Florida has nowhere for the water to drain and everything's built on top of limestone or whatever that yeah soft limestone and when it rains like this it gets into the gravel and it can like deteriorate the ground basically and so i could be driving through a puddle and there theoretically could be like a, a huge hole there and i don't know and that's another oh god and it's like it's not even an irrational fear because that happens all the time. I don't know, I'm just, I'm freaking out. I'm trying not to freak out. I should have taken my Xanax this morning, but I didn't and I just, I hate everything. I like it when it rains once in a while, but I'm not like, I don't live in Seattle for a reason. Like I don't like when it rains all the time. So I hate this, I hate it a lot. I wanted to stop and go away. So I made it home here. Ian's cookies that he has not seen yet. I'm gonna show him right now. And then I gave him his gift. I'll have to show you guys the bag. Happy birthday, babe. I colored them for you. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, thank you. Did you see what they are? I did. Do you know what all of them are? <laughs> Michael Scott quotes. Mm -hmm. Beetlejuice. A love thing. 312 Dove Beer Victory Dirt Wolf. <laughs> Just like a I love you one, some mm. cactuses, and then a birthday cake that says you want a piece of me. <laughs> and then look, on the bag I wrote, that's me, that's you, Ian. And then this is Luna so giving us the side eye, and then on the back she's giving us the side eye. <laughs> Alright babe, go, go, go. Open your gift, open your gift. I did that calligraphy. Oh. It's really pretty, right? Look how pretty I okay. did that. Okay. It looks like Jan, kind of, now that I'm looking at it. You ordered me it? Yeah, it didn't come. It I was know supposed, it wasn't going It was come. supposed to come today, and then it didn't, so it's coming It's coming tomorrow. That's big. But yeah, I got that. You got me a notebook? The card explains the gifts. Oh, okay. You got me Oreos? Double stuff Oreos. Best gift ever. Did. There's one more gift. I have to grab it. Jesus. This is your other gift. Why are you giving me money? <laughs> if you read the card, it tells I you what it's for. That, but why? It's a hundred dollars towards your wood planer. Because it's like four hundred and I can't afford four hundred. So Well thank you, babe. You're welcome. Sorry that your Amazon TV wasn't here right now. <laughs> So we decided that we are going to leave the house, try to brave this weather um, and the flooding to go celebrate Ian's birthday. So we're gonna go to a place that we've never been to before. It's called Big Bear Brewery. Um, and it's about 15 minutes from our house. So uh, I tried to look up online and see how the flooding is in that area. Um, Ian called the restaurant and they said everything was okay. So we're gonna try to take the highway and see how it goes. So wish us luck.
It's an actual like beer brewery and we've never been here before so we're gonna do this. I like this weird fountain. Like it's really pretty and like calming. So we're driving home from the restaurant right now and something happened here. I don't really know what, but there's like a guy running. Babe, go slow, you can't see. No, I just want to get ahead of this guy. I don't even know. Oh, did someone crash? No. No. I don't know what. <gasps> Wait, what? No. They're just like surveying. So um, we're on our way home. The restaurant that we went to was really great. It was a brewery slash restaurant. The food was really great. Um, I'm sad because I was like working on my steak which tasted really, really good and I was about to finish the whole thing and I went to cut my steak and it slid off my plate and fell on the floor. So we're at least bringing that piece of steak home for Luna so she could eat it. Um, but I was really bummed because I'm like, dang it, this was so good. And I was gonna eat the whole thing and it fell on the floor. Um, but other than that, it was really great. So we had a good time and we're heading home now to our loony bear and it's still raining.